dear Reverend Beth, the College Heights United Methodist Church Staff Parish Committee recognizes the challenges presented by this worldwide pandemic we're living through. Everyone has had to adapt and reshape duties, and this has been very well done. The mission and ministry of College Heights United Methodist Church continues. We especially want to lift up your spiritual leadership and your reassuring presence. You model for us practices that guide us and encourage us to grow as disciples of Christ. You are outwardly calm, while the energy-absorbing transformation of every aspect of our worship and works is taking place. As a symbol of our gratitude and our love, please accept this gift from the entire congregation. It's a symbol not only of our love, but also of the blessed time when we can congregate to, in worship one more time. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for your words. How You're welcome. And just appreciate that. And, and you're free uh, to open it if you'd like. Yeah. Open. Oh. <laughs> I see a picture in there. Should I open yeah. these? Yeah. Well, you can open the. Okay. Yeah. I stole, and it's gorgeous. Wow, it's so beautiful. Of course, with my orange, it just gator color. It's, it's a nice complimentary <laughs> combination. Yes. Oh my God. Complimentary Lovely. colors. Thank you so well, much. It's, it's from all of us, and we really do appreciate so much all of what you are doing. Thank yes. you. And we long to be back together. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you're welcome. you so much, Elaine and Staff Parish, and really all of you for your uh, wonderful words of appreciation. And I love the stole, and I can't wait to wear it in your company. I love it. Thank you. Um, I am. I am offering thanks and expressions of gratitude as we. Uh, approach our time to offer prayers of thanksgiving. So in addition to that gift and your words, um, uh, other things on my list for this week, um, our daughter Sharon had an orthodontist appointment. And so she was in town very briefly, just a few hours, but it was wonderful to see her and to spend time to, with her and to get to share a meal. So I'm grateful for that. I am uh, grateful for the work that's happening here in the sanctuary. If the camera was turned around, and I think we have some pictures we'll show you, um, you would see the carpet has been taken up and new carpet is being, uh, the floor is being prepared for new carpet to be installed and it's a wonderful thing. Um, so I'm grateful that that's happening. Um, I am grateful for those of you that have sent in pictures and we delight in seeing your faces and your smiles and what you've been up to. Um, I'm grateful for those of you that are sending in your um, contributions for our Angel Tree, um, the missions project of our Christmas in July. So thank you for that. And I was thrilled to see that video of Grace Sill talking about her call to ministry. So um, I just uh, lift up a, a yay God for that work in her life and just invite you to continue to pray for Grace. Um, so what are you thankful for? Um, call those things to mind as we um, enter this time of prayer. Let's pray together. God, I do thank you for the ways that you are at work in all of our lives. And whether our call is a call to ordained ministry or whether it's a call to simply be beyond the walls of the church and love our neighbors in new ways, whether it's um, through ministry to parents, um, thinking about how we're going to do backpack ministry in this 
new school year that's so drastically different, um, ways that we continue to practice our um, faith, live our faith, act on our faith. So God, you are at work in each of us and you continue to call. Your call is on all of our lives. So um, I am thankful for how that will manifest and take shape in the days ahead. I am grateful for all of your people that call themselves um, connected or call this their church home and for the gifts that they continue to send in, in our, for our offerings and for the continued work and ministry that happens here from College Heights United Methodist Church. God, I pray that you would continue to shape us as good and faithful stewards of all that we've been blessed with. I give thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen.